What does 125 tons do to a semi-axle? Well, we're gonna find out. Welcome to Bending with Bending. I'm Bending, okay? And today we're gonna be using a 125 ton ram to straighten and steer axle on a semi. So, uh, this is gonna be uh, kind of information, you know, so uh, if you like the channel so far, go ahead and subscribe, smash that subscribe button. This is a 125 ton cylinder from Beeline. As you can see here, this is the uh, axle in question. Now, this is a clevis. We call this a clevis because it pins off right here on this beam. Right here, as you can see. So, here, here, there we go. Now, the reason why we do this is because this number should be positive quarter and this number should be negative quarter. So, both sides seem to move equally seven eighths of a degree. Now, this measurement is measuring the camber. Now, what is camber? Camber is the inward outward tilt of the tire, okay? This is also the tire's ability to sit flat on the ground. Now, let's do the high speed montage and hook this thing up. see the uh, laser Ta -da. now our cylinder is ready for 125 ton and we have two of those another one there okay stuff has to get real now a lot of shops don't do this anymore very few shops around the country still do this hey if you still do this in your own shop go ahead and leave a comment this is a green leaf pump yeah it's old but you can rebuild it and it's Puts out a ton of pressure, okay? Now, the purpose of a camber adjustment on a semi-axle is so that way you can set the tire to the road, all right? So the road leans, has camber in the road, so you have to set the camber of the, of the tire itself or the axle to the road, so that way you can properly wear your tires. So now I'm gonna show you this number and this number need to be the ones to watch, okay? I'm gonna go to high speed on this one. Hit it with high speed. So as you notice, we had to go way positive on this side and way positive on this side to get it to actually start bending the axle straight. So an axle is extremely flexible, correct? So in order to actually get it to bend, it's gonna take a lot of force. So now we're one, positive one and five eighths on this side and positive two degrees on this side. If you remember, this was one and an eighth negative, five eighths negative. So you see how far we actually have to push this axle to get it to actually change the dimension. Now that this is straight, I can drive down the road and not eat the tires up. Now the only other thing that would, is tire wear uh, measurement is the toe. So that's the distance from between the front of the tires the back of the tire. So that dimension can cause tire to wear significantly if not properly addressed. So we draw this little line on there. We'll save that for another video. So this is one of the only ways to actually adjust camber on a semi. Most of the time people don't normally do that. They usually set the toe, do a little cast to work, and then let it go. But if you want to get your max life out of tires, you really have to adjust the camber. Now a lot of companies, axle manufacturers, do suggest that you have this done within the first 50,000 miles. This is the ideal dimensions, okay? It's gonna be ideal. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Me and my pointer are out. And don't forget to smash the subscribe button.